What's up guys? Sport Rider, we're back again with another run video. And as you can see on the intro, we are going to test out this new Nike Alpha Fly 2. Next percent. Let's go. for our first impression of the shoes um, it's really bouncy and I think it's really super aggressive maybe for me it's like propelling you to go forward more because it has a carbon plate and for now we are going to try my pace first for 6 per kilometer 6 minutes per kilometer and let's see So first kilometer in, I wanted to go slow, like six per kilometer, but I don't know, maybe the shoes is going, is propelling me more. So we got like five minutes and 30 seconds, this first kilometer. And the second kilometer, wanted to try it on a medium pace, like five minutes per kilometer. So let's see how it goes. So second kilometer in, I have tried to go into much more faster pace. We got to like 5.06 on the second kilometer and my lungs can't go run faster than that. So we are now walking and I think the shoes is propelling you like aggressively but I think the shoes is a little bit like squeaky and it has more sound when running I don't know maybe you can hear it on the video but I think it was really loud when you are running so on the on this third and fourth kilometer we are going to a much more easy pace let's try seven minutes per kilometer or something like eight minutes per kilometer so let's go
so I think we are getting some problem now here I really wanted to go slow pace but I think the shoes is propelling me to go much more faster and we are like 540 to 550 right now and let's try a much more easier pace and let's see how this shoe can maintain those pace and how well it can go let's go now we are like much more, more likely like jogging now instead of running we are at pace of 545 to 550 and for now I think this one is much more squeezer or more softer than the invisible tree so let's go So we are now on our third kilometer in and for that third kilometer we got to like 545 per kilometer and I think I wanted to go much more slower but it seems like I can't because the shoes is like propelling me to go faster so I think this shoes is not good for easy run if I were you you're going to buy these shoes it's not for easy run because it's a racing shoes but I think for a long run this is really good because it's, it has more bounce which is much more softer than the invisible for me eh? that's what I, what I can feel right now while riding on these shoes but if you want to go on a slower pace I cannot recommend you these shoes because right now I want to, to go to much more slower pace but <laughs> we're still running like 540 550 right now so if you I think if you guys like a more for easy run slower pace I recommend the invisible tree instead of this one so let's finish this let's go information guys I'm just a hobbyist runner or casual runner I'm running like two to three times per week 
So for sure you guys are asking right now why did I bought these shoes, these racing shoes. So I bought these shoes because on the weekend I really wanted to go for a much more longer run like 10 to something like that more over 10 kilometers so I wanted a much more comfier ride much more squishy ride or softer ride to go for a long run I have like the invisible tree and the other one but I really wanted to try this one and maybe also in the future I am going to join some marathon or half marathon something like that so let's see in the future so keep watching my video guys let's go So we have finished like 4.37 kilometers right now for an average pace of 5.49 and our time right now is 25.27 and I think it's good it's just a test run and we have tried a lot of paces so for our final conclusion right now on this shoes if you really wanted a something more aggressive shoes and much more softer ride for your long run and if you are aiming for a pace of like six per minute or something much more faster and I think this shoes is for you and also if you are going to run a marathon or some races the shoes I really recommend the shoes but if you wanted to go for a much more easy run easy pace I don't think I can recommend the shoes because this shoes is really aggressive so as you can see on the video I really want to go much more easy pace but it seems like I the shoes is still propelling me to go forward so I, st I th think I like been like 5.40 5.45 and as you can see the maximum is 5.39 and the shoes is still keep propelling me to go much more faster so see you guys on the next one so i hope you guys like this unboxing and some test video so i hope you can share and like this video so i can make much more more content like this in the future so thank you guys for watching see you guys next time keep on running for your health so i hope you guys see you guys on my next video I'm out.